if marketing and sales could just somehow work together and understand that the you know these prospects actually need to be nurtured and and we can use these lead scores as a way to find where they are in that journey and give them what they need to eventually get to sales i think everybody would be a lot happier i think sales and marketing alignment what a concept <laughs> right <laughs> right that's half the battle i think is getting to a point where you feel like you have aligned your processes in order to use something like lead scoring or build a process around this type of thing within your organization. I think sales and marketing alignment is oftentimes the issue. I also think about all of those leads out there that we aren't able to track with the lead scoring. You know, this traditional way of lead scoring, you talked about somebody needs to go to your website or click on a link. They have to go through these certain processes to actually get into the system where you know that they're interacting with your content, right? But, you know, nowadays people are blocking cookies all the time. They don't want to be tracked. They don't want anyone to know what they're looking at online. Or you think about something like LinkedIn, where I would say most people in the business world are looking at content and interacting with content on LinkedIn. You know, a, a huge percentage. And yet there's no way to really track unless they click on something. There's no really, you know, a good way to track what they're looking at, what they're sharing, what they're commenting on, you know, all of these different things. You could have a really, a really good qualified lead out there that you don't even know exists because it's just really hard to track these days. Looking at the traditional lead scoring, there's just, there's a lot of things that you have to think about when you're trying to figure out who are the most qualified leads. 